Hey, Toby. Why is everybody so sleepy this morning? Pumpkin, how you doing? You're looking pretty cute, wrapped up there around your little scratch and pole. Can we get a good morning kiss? Oh, thanks, Pumpkin. Such a sweetheart. Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I am great. Kind of a gloomy day. Supposed to have some storms rolling in here pretty soon. And oh, that's lovely. Spot of bird poop right on the window. I was thinking, since there's supposed to be rain moving in, might be a good time to go do something indoors, like maybe hit up some nurseries. When is that ever? Not a fun thing to do. Crystallinums hanging out back there. Doing really well too. It just, I keep it surrounded by other plants to help keep the humidity up around it. My second dose, been a couple weeks in full effect. You know, for the last year, haven't really been going out and doing very much. And when I do, it's like very spread out and far in between. But now I don't really have to worry about that. Still doing the whole mask, hand washing, don't touch the face and keeping a good distance from everybody. Really not much has changed. It's just that I feel like I can leave the house more than once every two weeks. I've got a lot of plant shopping to make up for from last year. You know, didn't really get out much last year. Good, there he is. I had a request to show more tortoise in the videos, but uh, Colby, every time he comes through here, I get, by the time I get the camera out, he's gone. It's a surprisingly fast tortoise. And my camera setup isn't one where I just like, quick, turn on a button, it's ready to go. I gotta get my various mics set up. I could always use my phone. I should probably do that. There are a few different places I want to go, a few different things that I need to get or that I need to start getting. I should say I need to start getting some super tunias, a whole bunch of them, bubble gums and the honeys, a purple one of some kind, don't know which. They don't have a nice purple vista that I'm aware of. Anyways, a whole rainbow petunias get planted up around the pool here in a couple weeks. Need to find some orange sun impatience. Maybe a few more Persian shields, those strobilanthes, great plant. I'm always on the hunt for heliconias, though I never find them because nobody sells them around here. I've seen them for sale like maybe, I don't know, three or four times ever. Usually have to order those. Some lantana, some geraniums, just a whole bunch of different things I need for various projects. Like to get some variegated sun impatience, the tropical rose with the pretty pink flowers. I also have the electric orange. That's just the regular sun impatient. I'm thinking... I can't remember, there's a variegated orange one too. Hopefully I'll see him and then can show him to y'all when we see him. I'm trying to think, what else do I need? My list is pretty big, it's buried away in my phone. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna go hit up three different nurseries. All of them have nice big indoor sections. So if it's raining, not a big deal. We'll see what they have, scoop it up. And then I'm sure we'll be repeating this in just a few weeks anyways, because it's that time of year. The main place that I'm focusing on that I need to go, they're all local companies. I go to the big box stores a fair amount, but I really would like to do most of my plant spending at local nurseries if possible and help support them. I'm going to a place called, it's Weethop or Weithop. Don't really know how to pronounce it, but they are a big, huge like grower, but they sell retail. Their prices are usually really, really good. And they have an amazing selection of annuals for the garden. They have some good perennials too. There's a nursery next door to them that's decent. Do you want to go in the laundry room, bud? Is that where we're heading? And then of course, Greenscape. I always love Greenscape. There are a few other places I'd like to go, but I doubt I'll be able to get all that done in one day. There's Sugar Creek and Garden Heights and a whole bunch of places. But the uh, first three I mentioned are right next to each other. So that's what I'm focusing on. There you go. Enjoy yourself. I cannot believe that the birds didn't start screaming. Usually when Colby goes moving in there, the parrots go nuts. I like they've never seen them before. There's something about that moving boulder that seems to freak them out. Where you going, pumpkin? Pumpkin. Oh. I walked around, I got you, Pumpkin. You think you're gonna get away that easily, Pumpkin? You so cute. Anyways, yeah, let's go hit up some nurseries, have some fun, do some plant shopping. Oh my gosh, there's so many plants. Just keeps going and going and going. So much to look at. I don't really specifically need like anything that I think is in this particular greenhouse, but I still gotta browse and look, right? I mean, there's just, there's so much fun color. Finally, some happy cherry Gerber daisies. All the ones I've been seeing have been like burgundy and like plum colored and I don't, that's pretty, but it's not, when I think of Gerber daisies, I think of like bright, happy, cheery colors. Look at all these caladiums. These are beautiful too. What variety are these? These are, oh, the just saucy is that what that says yeah just saucy it's a fun name it's a 14 to 16 inch on that one so it's a decent size caladium. they have really fun foliage i would 
nab some of these, but I'm uh, expecting a Caladium order that has some in it that are going to look an awful lot like this. So there's no reason to. Also just realized that the music is way too loud in that background. Hopefully I can even use what I've been filming so far. These look like silverberries, but they didn't used to carry proven winners. Now it's an easy wave silver, so it's the wave version of the Supertunia Vista Silverberry. I love this shade of purple. It's lighter in person than it's coming through on my camera, at least as far as it looks right now. It's kind of a dark purple from the way you're seeing it. This is so pretty. It's like a light, creamy sort of purple. I love that. Hey, that's a cool Vinko. What variety are you? I have to talk loud so that y'all can't hear Madonna in the background. Tattoo Tangerine. You see that? Tattoo Tangerine. Really cool flower on that one. Look at this, they have hyacinth beans. I didn't even need to order the seeds. I could've just picked them up here. They're easy enough to grow. That's not a big deal. They have moon vines and some morning glory. Oh my gosh, look at all these geraniums. Those are so pretty. A lot of the plants are still getting started. It's still early. Things are still tiny. Got a lot of growing to do. Oh, these are still really small, but they have the trailing vincas up here. Those are fine. Oh. You probably couldn't hear a thing I was just saying because of fans and then the mask and all the noisy things, but it's all right. Who cares what I'm saying? Everything's pretty. I am really particular about my trailing vinca. I like the ones that are a lighter pink with the dark eye. I'm not seeing them here, but these look nice. This is where things get really fun. Look at all these baskets. Big mature plants. They're usually pretty cheap and they have nice big veggies. Like really big considering it's early April. I even see some squash or melon of some kind over there. I mean, look at it. Look at all these baskets. Have the, what I assume, they look like the spreading salmon, variegated sun and patience. Love those. Malabar spinach. Huh, look at that. That's neat. I don't know anything about that plant, but it looked fun. God, it's so much pink. I don't think it would actually be possible to film everything that I'm seeing in here because this just this just keeps on going and going and going and going. Wow, that's a very vibrant color. Okay, so the prices have gone up a little bit over the last couple of years. That's not totally surprising. Oh, that was a huge, gigantic basket, so I suppose that's not a terrible price, but if they grow pretty fast, I can just get a little one and save my money and wait a little bit longer for them to grow. Seeing lots of pentas that haven't bloomed out yet. I have been trying to find the variegated double impatience for like the last three years. They just vanished. I'm wondering if one of the big growers maybe bought them out and they're doing something with them and they're not going to release them until they perfect whatever it is they're trying to do by big growers yes i mean proven winners i wonder if they've bought them up sometimes that happens they'll purchase a variety of plant and take ownership over it and then you can't find it i'm seeing more proven winners stuff here than we used to some broalia down here well that's a nice big persian shields they're not huge but they're healthy looking kind of they're just a little bit thirsty i think that soil doesn't feel very dry though that dahlias not in flower yet, at least most of them aren't, but they're pretty. Those they're going to be really pretty, I should say. So cute. Got a whole bunch of those. Lots of stretches, can't see those are huge. And they have the variegated sun and patience, the tropical rose, which is like a pinky color down there. And then they have the tropical orange, which was hard to come by last year. <laughs> Main Street La Bamba, that is a stunning coleus. My gosh. Here we go, now we're talking. Finally, made my way to the tropicals. It's not anything crazy. What are these, we got some gingers in here? Red ginger, Alpinia, that's not something I see up here very often. We got it, green shells right here. I'm a little disappointed, not gonna lie, because I thought but these were heliconias from far away. Still cool plants, but not the same. Look at all the little counties. They're so cute. Again, plants I don't see for sale up here very often. Usually you have to go down south for this. They have some nice size, really nice size zamias over here. 
like they're pretty big. Oh, oh, this might be hard to resist. Look at, oh, that's such a pretty lantana. Philodendrons, Xanad, eh, I don't know about that. They're cool looking though. Gosh, dang it, I think I'm gonna need another card. Some Monsteras, there's some Kalidor, Elocasias down there, Dyphon Buckia, Cordelin Fredicasa, and some beautiful braided oleander trees. I don't, I don't know. I like the braid, but in the long run, I prefer just an oleander bush. Oh, and I didn't even realize I skipped that entire aisle. So that does, oh, whoa, whoa, come back. I almost lost my cart. I think that's just hibiscus and mandevillas over there. Looking like it's the same thing over there. Ferns and hibiscus trees, some gardenias. I am right next to the exhaust fan, my apologies. Plenty of crotons. Holy crap, that's a really good price for these Eugenias. I don't want them, but that's a great price. I can just walk and enjoy the view. Isn't this pretty? I'm gonna have to move that. That's not where that's supposed to go. These are Eugenia spirals. $30, God, that's so good. Don't need them though. If those were perennial, I'd snatch those up and try and get a better shot of those. They look really nice. Oh, those are the tropical rose sun and patience. See the more of like a pinky color on the flower. Are there any orange ones I can show you? I don't see any, but they look like that, but with orange flowers. Oof. These are fun. Got these fun mossy cones over here with the geraniums in them, and then over on the side they have these like doubled up standard ones where they have the ivy down in the bottom. Then they put the ball on top. Those look really cool. These begonia planters are gigantic. Look how big that is. I can't even get far enough away. And you gotta remember, it's only April. Those are going to get absolutely massive by the end of the growing season. Look at that one. Oh man. Ooh, uh, that's fun. That's a neat looking basket. <laughs> Sorry, I'm overwhelmed by plants. It's hard to focus. I don't know what to do. Um, excuse you, where are you going? This cart doesn't want to hold still. Oh, there's the orange. It's the same, just orange. I went to a different aisle because I was like, I need to get away from those. It's too tempting. And you know, those begonias, they grow so quickly that it's like, do I really want to spend $45 on one? But then they found me in another aisle. It's like they're chasing me. Nope, not going to do it. I'd rather get one of those big geraniums because I already have a decently sized pink dragon's wing that overwintered. It doesn't look as good as these that's been in my garage, but it'll bounce back in several weeks and be fine. And then I also, I have like a, I think I have eight little dragon's wings down there. I don't need more. I don't know why I'm suddenly talking about need. This is very much a heavy want situation. They're so big. Luckily, cart's full, so I'm just gonna have to come back. No big deal, I'll come back another time. Oh, those fuchsias are nice. Okay, I thought I was gonna grow, but I realized I missed a few aisles. Just some more Pentas. Some really nice annuals. I can't remember what these are, but they smell really, oh, these are just salvia. I thought these were something else, but those are pretty big. Like really big, those are the blue suede shoe salvias. Nice size on those. I think I like the flower color better on this one though. This is Icon Violet. It's sort of hard to judge the color when they haven't opened up all the way, but it's just, it's a softer purple. I like that. Lots of cannas. Wow, those verbenas. This is a cloud of white. This is so pretty. I'm so happy right now. None of the fuchsias are open, so I can't really tell which ones they are, which is unfortunate because I've been trying to find those ones that, back on theme here, I like the ones that have the light purple center. And those are kind of hard to find. I don't see them as often as I used to. Oh. Nice. Black eyed Susans, some cardinal flowers. Oh, ah, the hummingbirds love these. It's too, I don't have, even have a spot for that yet. But they have tons of these. I did not, I spent like 15 or 20 bucks on seeds. And I could have just bought one for $7.50. Oh well, some nice four o'clocks back there. And look at these, these are fun. The nasturtium. This is the jewel mix. Okay, triplet, triplet. There's the tag. 
the Joel Mix Nasturtium. It's a climbing Nasturtium. Pretty one, too. Okay, that's enough. I have to go. Cart's full and overflowing. Ooh, the Tervinias. Nope, gotta stop myself. I keep getting ready to say, okay, it's time to go, but then I see things that I can't. That is beautiful. This is it. I have two hours left. Sun patients and New Guineas on each side. Coleus over there. Get that hot coral. Okay, it's pink in person. Coral in person, not pink. <sighs> Love them. All right, so here are the orange. That's what I needed, but I don't want to get them in these big sizes. That's not gonna catch. Oh, I mean, the other ones I have will catch up with them, but it's just a lot more money. Those are like seven fifty a piece. I'd rather. I'm gonna see if I can find them in a smaller pack because I don't want to. I only need like four though. No, don't do it. I think I'm going to need one of those, and I'm reaching through the back. No, you're not bigger, you're just standing up taller. Here we go. There's a nice one right there. Macho Morado. Macho Morado. Come on now. The Angel Wing Senecios. These are so fun. I love those. Those get really, like, nice big bold leaves. are really fun and pretty when they get bigger. There are all the Gerber daisies I've been looking for, but the thing is, like, the moment's passed. It's over. I don't want them anymore. Okay, nursery number- excuse you. Music. Nursery number two. I wanted to stop in because this is right next door to Weethop. It's a grower I was just at, the greenhouse place, so I figured I'd check it out. I'm already seeing some pretty promising, colorful-looking magic going on in there, and, um, still looking for those orange sun impatience. Hopefully I'll find them. We got some decent looking bamboos here. They're the Arlia, the Yellow Groves 120, and that's Monrovia. And bamboo's just pricey. It's not my favorite variety, they're pretty, but around here where I live, they really yellow out, like the foliage turns really brown and they get really ugly during the winter. So not my favorite. They have some good clumpers over here though. The red, the, here we go. Let's get that tag loud truck in the background. These hold on their foliage a lot better. They don't have like quite the same look to them, but they're still really fun and you have to be more patient too, but I like them. These are ones that I would consider putting in a container and I think that they would look really nice in the winter time. When everything else is dead, they'll be, you know, fluttering around in the wind and looking pretty. Uh, so that's enough of that. Tropicals. Gotta see the tropicals. Not a shopping cart in sight, so I guess I'm just gonna browse. That's probably for the best. Just found a geranium flower in my hoodie from the nursery that I was just at. It's such a joke. Like, you know, I'm saying, oh, I'm not gonna need a, you know, I'm gonna need a cart. Who am I kidding? Look at the little baby lantana trees. Those are fun. More Taurinia. I like this one. They don't, they look terrible, but I like the flowers on them. I like the color on those a lot. Some pretty lobelias, love those. He's like salvia too. Roman red salvia. Man, the hummingbirds would love this. I like this one better though. Vibe ignition salvia, oh, fuchsia salvia. Look at the color on those. I like that, that's really fun. I'm not gonna get it. Remember what I just said? If I don't need another cart, I'm not gonna buy a bunch of stuff while I'm here. <laughs> Whoa, I know, you're not gonna be able to hear anything I'm saying, but look at, these are gigantic. 120. But I mean, they're absolutely huge. Okay, I'll get away from the gigantic noisy fans. Those were massive. Those had to be at least four feet. I'm gonna say that wasn't a bad price for Epiphyllum that size. So that was pretty good. Don't need it though, look at this. Wow. That's a cool looking philodendron. Is that a lickety split? It just says philodendron. This looks like it might be the the lickety split variety. They have deeper lobes on them. That's a great looking plant. I don't know what kind of nepenthes it is, but it is an absolute monster. Jeez. I've got some huge specimen sized plants in here. Is this a fechadera? Well, it just says annual tropical. I don't know, but looks neat. Might be a fashion era. Just talked about those in the Fetzia video not long ago. The 
they have, I mean, I think that those are Fatsias. Things don't have labels. I need labels. Wow, oh, there's more of those dragon's wings. I've got a whole bunch. I think I got six of them or eight of them. That's a previous nursery. They were only $2.50 a piece. It was a great price. Did I say $2.50 a pea? I meant to say piece. Good looking at Clivias, Caladiums. I was really just scoping the place out for some Heliconias, but I don't think I'm gonna find those, so on to the next, or go home, we'll decide later. Heliconias. We gotta go home and do a plant haul. It's gonna be intense. That's neat. I love the leaves on this. They're nice, stiff foliage and that really cool looking trunk, too. Just walk away, have to resist. Oh, I'm at a different nursery now, my greenscape. Yes. More fun, lovely tropical stairs. I don't have a lick of space left in the car, so I don't really know what I'm doing here. And where there's a well, there's a way. I just, I hope. Oh, those are cute little standardized rubber trees. Um, what's the thing? I just, just need some sun and patience. That was the whole point of all of this, was getting some manuals so I can plant some beds up. Okay, they've got some of the big ones on the right. Do we have any little orange ones? No, it's just, just seeing pink, huh? I'm not like dead set. I don't have to have orange. I don't need to mix them all together. But I, I mean, I like the way it looks, alternating the orange and the pink. But I think just pink would look fine. So if I can't find orange ones, although I think I see them right there, I was gonna say it wouldn't be that big of a deal if I couldn't find them. Wow, if they have some nice baskets here. Oh, look over here on the right. We have the banana department. So Dwarf Cavendish. They're cute. Diamond head. Colocasias. Love those black corals. Probably always going to be my favorite. I haven't seen those in a while. They have it all. Lots of fun tropicals. They have some citrus, a nice looking pomegranate over here, some figs. There's no surprise there. They always do a great job with the tropicals. Ah, oh, so pretty. Jeez, look at these begonias. It's just a rainbow of begonias. Man, that is so tempting to just to buy all of them. I need my own begonia rainbow. Ah, oh, crap. Like I said, they always bring it with the tropicals. Oh, look at this adamidia. Don't need it. Don't need it. Very much want. Don't need. It's a good thing the car's full, because I'd be in even more trouble than I already am. They <laughs> say that as if I'm not going to come back. I mean, look at these Chinese fan palms. They're amazing. I uh, do not like the idea of having to overwinter them inside, though. But they look so cool. Oh, they're kind of scrawny, but they're cute. <laughs> look, it's like a bean... Why do I want that? It's just a bean pole, but for some reason it's just calling to me. Oh. They don't need it, but jeez, it really is cute. I like this one. It's got a nice trunk on it. Really nice, girthy, happy looking plant. But you know, the thing with the Adenidias is I'm kind of over them. I talked in the Alexander Palm video how I really prefer the Alexanders over the Adenidias. Adenidias are just, they're such a pain in the winter time. Oh, look at a little bit of baby busies. The prices are really good. On a lot of them. There's another Robolini I didn't show you, but it's like yay high. It's like 60 or 70 bucks. Good price. They got some little triples down there. Oh, those are cute. That one, right there. See? It's got a nice little trunk on it. It's not bad. It's cute. I almost got it. I had to remind myself, I already have one that's really big. Don't need more. I'd consider that a successful day got pretty much everything I needed. Hey, see that, Pfizer? That's where your shots are coming from. If you got the Pfizer, well, that's where it starts, and then it goes to another place where they, like, put it together. Then it goes to another place where they package it or something like that around, like, different places in the country, but that's where that's where it all started. Right there. Ground zero. I am wiped out. Plant shopping did me in. It's like I, I had a plant gasm. I need to take a nap and recover. I still have one more stop. I got a message from my dad asking me to pick something up for him at the hardware store. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I'm gonna try and figure it out. I don't wanna go home and have to go back out. You know how that goes, right? Not a big deal at all. It is such a gorgeous day. There we go. 
Oh. So much fun spring color. I feel like I need to talk to fill in the gaps so everybody can see how pretty it is, but I don't know if that's necessary. Anyways, I'm gonna hit up the hardware store, pick up some stuff from my dad, then can head home. Look at all the goodies in the back of the car. Oh, I love freezias. The problem that I have with these is just that once they're done blooming, then what? Right? They don't do great in my climate. They're a pain to get going. Like, it's complicated getting these things going and getting them flowering the next year. So it's fun to see them already started. And it's tempting because they smell amazing. Okay, feels good to be home. It's been several days. We had a cold front move in and I just had to keep things locked up and couldn't even bring them out until this morning and now it's raining. But here we are, that's okay, it's just rain. Not a big deal, but I don't wanna to spend too much time out here because, you know, the camera. Here's everything I got, a lot of just annuals, right? Things I'm gonna be using throughout the summer for planting mostly hopefully in May and June to get things done. In the front have a couple flats of Supertunia Vista bubble gums. <laughs> Gonna be using a lot of those for various things here and for friends and other projects. Then I have those purple wave petunias also that are going to be very useful. Love the pink and the purple. This geranium, how awesome. Look at how big. Great big, nice, healthy looking ivy geranium. Needs a little bit of cleaning up. So like I said, these sat around for about a week before I got around to this part of the video. I didn't just didn't want to move them back and forth between the car and then into the garage and then back out here and then put them back in the garage with the cold and the snow and everything. But they've moved around quite a bit. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this grows. This was the plant where I was like, all right, do I get this or the begonia? Since I already have so many begonias, I figured this was the way to go. I've been on the lookout for a nice big ivy geranium for a pretty long time. So here we go. Now I have one. I'm happy about that. This is the Tropical Rose Sun Impatient, the Variegated Sun Impatient. That is going to get very big. It's probably actually going to need to bump that up into another basket here. I should do that sooner than later. I'll try and get on that probably tomorrow. was able to get some of the Electric Orange Sun Impatients. I'm going to be mixing those up with some of my pink ones. I have some Tropical Rose and some that I think are just hot pink or coral pink. I can't remember. Those will look Look nice together and here are some of the canary wing begonias where's the label there it is canary wings similar shape growth habit to that of a dragon's wing but they have a nice light green more of a chartreuse colored foliage on them which i like because i will be having these planting these up around plants that are going to be in more of a shaded area an area that gets mostly morning sun and afternoon shade and that's gonna help kind of lighten the area up and be nice and bright and cheery. Love the canary wings begonias. I got more geraniums, aren't these awesome? I absolutely love these ivy geraniums. This is the from the Exotica series. The variety is called Coral Sunrise. That they have a nice light colored foliage on them. It's a lighter green with those dark centers and the flowers on them I don't know how they're going to look on camera, but to me and to my eyeballs and how I see things, they're kind of a pink to a coral pink, which is generally the tone I like to go with when it comes to pink. So I got two of those. They're really nice, big, healthy, happy looking plants too, aren't they? I think they look pretty good. Hopefully I'm not getting too many water droplets on my screen here. I should actually speed this up because I don't want to break my camera. Parfugium japonicum. Leopard plant. Love these. Excellent plants. Grabbed one of those. I got a couple of the smaller variegated sun impatience, more of the tropical rose, just because I have some spots I want to fill in with those. Ascot rainbow euphorbia, because I don't think any of mine survived the winter. We'll see if they come back from the ground, but it's not looking good. Coleus. Y'all saw me get that one at the nursery. This is a Rolia back here. The variety is called uh, Macho Morado. 
It's from Proven Winners, gets about 18 to 32 inches tall. It's supposed to be a prolific bloomer. I'll talk more about that one and like specifically why I like that one when I get around to using it. Alpinia purpurata, that's the red cone ginger. Not much to see with it. It's still looking kind of small. It's sort of sad because it did get exposed to some cooler temperatures, but that's all right. With some heat and some moisture, it'll take off again. I did get one of the Kunti palms down here. It's the Florida Kunti, Florida native. Really neat, interesting cycad. See, it has its big like seed head ball thing on top of it. Fun plant. I did find three heliconias, but there's not much to see with them just yet. They're still going to need some time to flush out and get going. They were all labeled as Andromeda, which is this one right here. This is an Andromeda. They're orange with more of a red tip on them. They're all types of Sideracorum heliconias. But I don't think the other two are actually Andromedas. I would guess maybe Lady Di or just one of the other strawberries and cream, maybe. They could be Andromedas and the flowers just aren't as bright or vivid from cooler temperatures. Who knows what? All the flowers they had on them were old and spent. So I just need to give it some time and let them flush out with new flowers before I know what they are, but I don't really care. They're heliconias, I love them. Lantana tree, which I'm glad you guys got to see it and it's glory at the store because it's been through it. I'm gonna need to go through and do a cleanup prune on there pretty soon. Like I said, it's been over a week since all the clips and we're at the nursery. So you can see how things have kind of dwindled a little bit. That's not unusual. I also got one of the cascading vincas, one of the trailing vincas. Isn't it pretty? Love these, they're so fun. This one is called Cora Cascade Strawberry. I like the trailing vincas a lot to put over the edges of tall straight pots, pots that don't have much of a curve to them because they have a tight growth. They come down really nice along the edges, similar to a Creeping Jenny, but with really fun flowers. Pink Dragon's Wings Begonias. Think I already mentioned that I'd gotten those. More of that Coleus, which y'all saw me get. More of those variegated sun impatience, but these are the electric orange, I believe. A mixture of the electric orange and tropical rose. Some more of the orange sun impatience that just got mixed up from down there. This is one of the Coral Boys Coleus from Proven Winners. This one's called Sedona Sunset. When it gets more sun, it has a nice bright orange color. Well, not bright, but it has a more orange hue to it, I should say. Lime Time Color Blaze, one of my favorites. Fun, bright green foliage for the shade or the sun. And then the last two plants that I have in here are really fun and colorful plants. You can see I got two more of the Persian Shields just because I love them and I wanted some more of them to work into the landscape and into containers. And then, looky here, this is the Firecracker Upright Fuchsia, one of the Gartenmeister type fuchsias, but they have really fun, beautiful variegated foliage. I love them. I'm really happy I was able to find those. The Getting the variegated tropical type fuchsias is sometimes tricky. I don't always see them. It's only like the third time I think I've been able to find them at a nursery. And that varies from place to place and where you live, but around here, I think they just get nabbed up really fast. So I'm looking forward to growing these. I like these a lot because even when they're not in flower, like say I like fall behind on deadheading or they're just like going through a recovery time between bloom periods, the foliage still looks really nice and pretty on them. The Persian shields are starting to perk up quite a bit. They were looking Pretty wealthy. I was not, I don't normally buy plants that look like that from a nursery, but they're not always the easiest to come by these days. They've gotten pretty popular, so I went ahead and got them. They've had a few waterings and they're looking better. They didn't look bad, they just, you know, they just seemed thirsty. Oh, and one other thing. I did get a new Metanella. These are awesome, awesome plants. I had one years ago, had it for several years, probably like eight or nine years actually. And uh, it wasn't a plant that made it through last year. So I was really happy to see a new one and it has a nice big flower spike on it. The flowers on these come out and cascade and open up with these really fun, I mean, they're just pink flowers, but there's just something about the flowers on these plants. When this goes into bloom, you'll see what I'm talking about. They're absolutely beautiful and they're really fun house plants. Not necessarily the easiest of house plants, not really the hardest either. I, we can talk about it at more length when it goes into bloom. That might be a good idea, but they're really fun plants. Nice, neat foliage on them, an interesting growth habit. They don't grow incredibly fast, so that they're not something that's gonna take up too much space. And those flowers, the flowers are just so cool. Oh, and there is a Tithonia back here. One of the, the Mexican sunflowers, I believe is what it's called. 
I grabbed one of those. I have some seeds, but I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the plant because sometimes the seed stuff doesn't always work out. I have an area where I'm going to put that Mexican sunflower. It's a pollinators love those. That will get to be, well, some of the varieties. I don't know about this one. Usually they will get to be anywhere from like four and a half to like seven feet tall. They get covered in orange flowers on them that are like, you know, little sunflowery type flowers. They look more like a zinnia flower actually than a sunflower flower. Anyways, pollinators love them, but you know, sometimes when you get the seeds in the ground, rain can wash them away and different things can happen. So I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and get that. That way I have it and I'm excited and really looking forward to getting that in the ground and growing it. Once the heat kicks in, that's gonna take off. That's actually gonna be the case for everything out here. Everything out here is mostly a heat lover. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna do it. Uh, sorry that I had to rush through the haul part of it, but you know, I'll be working with these plants throughout the videos over the next several weeks. And I mean, heck, even a couple months, you'll be seeing these around all summer long, at least the ones that I'm keeping. A lot of these are for me, some of them will be going into baskets or arrangements for other people. But for the most part, these will all be here. We'll get to watch them grow together and you'll see them when I pot them up in arrangements. And, all that fun stuff. I had a great time. I'm currently hiding underneath the canopy here of the glider because of the rain, and I hope y'all had fun too. Thanks for hanging out while I ran around to the nurseries and spazzed out over plants. I didn't get the palm tree. Not gonna do it. Might do it, probably not going to, but I might. But I shouldn't, it might happen though. I'm gonna try not to though, because it has been a week since I was at those nurseries, and since we know that shopping, and I'm still thinking about it. It's still early in the season. Like, who knows what else is going to show up? And I have some Adenidia palms. I don't necessarily need more. I just, there's just that one. There's something about it that I just loved. I thought it was just a really nice looking plant. But yeah, I'm more focused on the landscape right now and on getting lots of color going with the annuals. Very exciting. Cannot wait to get around to planting all these things. Hopefully that'll all be happening or it'll start happening. I'm not gonna get everything planted right away, but a lot of it will be happening within the next week or two. All right, I hope everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life. Everything's just going beautifully for you. Comment down below, say hi, love talking to y'all. I'll put the names of the nurseries I went to in the description below for anybody who lives in the St. Louis area or plans to travel or wants to come out to the area, pick up some plants. Always go to support local and see what they have. Usually a much better variety and a really great source of knowledge from local nurseries, usually. At least the ones that I go to. What's your favorite? What you like the most? I wish I could get better shots of them, but it's just, it's so much rain. I don't wanna destroy the camera. I am obsessed with those geraniums, the ivy geraniums with that lighter green foliage and those fun pinky corally flowers. Those are awesome. I cannot wait to watch those grow and get nice and bushy and then start to fall and, you know, do what ivy geraniums do and have those fun, brightly colored flowers all over them. They, like, there's something about them that reminds me of like a summer tropical beachy cocktail. I don't know why, that's just, that's where my brain goes with it. Kind of the same thing with the canary wings begonias. That lighter lime green color with the contrast of the pinks and the reds and the oranges. Just something fun about it. And then of course the variegated fuchsias. They're really pretty. Anything where I can stand far away and they stand out to me, those are the special plants. Well, that's this the definition of, I just defined stand out. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> As always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye, bye.